it has already a considerable impact in drug discovery where we are making molecules to, to, in order to identify new potential drugs. There is already an active tool. And then when we want to make a molecule, we have a new alternative. So before we had metal catalysis, we have enzymatic catalysis, and now we have a new tool. And when we are going to make a new molecule, we, we will evaluate which tool will be most efficient to solve this particular problem. And the more tools we have, the less environmental impact, the more efficient we will be. And this particular tool that we have now, asymmetric organic catalysis, that's a very powerful tool. So that will definitely have a, an environmental impact in the coming years. You mentioned also that it's environmentally um uh, friendly, more friendly, more friendlier friendly, than, yeah. for example, metal catalysis, yes. Why? Metals you have to get rid of, that's a waste. These catalysts you recover. And sometimes we're using uh, metals like iron that is okay with the environment, but sometimes we're using metals as catalysts that are not okay with the environment. Can we get rid of them and use, for example, organic catalysis instead? That would be a benefit for the environment. So where? Where are they used now? I would say they are used not for production yet, because it's still early. But they are used in discovery. Uh, so for example, drug discovery and other discoveries in, in, in uh, industry and of course in academia.